Hello YouTubers, Diecast Collectors, it's Jared White, the J-Man 63. It is Thursday, January 7th, 2015, and it is time for a kind of belated Christmas haul video, kind of a New Year's video. Some stuff I got during Christmas, some stuff I got before and after. And I apologize for the late video, I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas, a great New Year's, and everybody was safe on New Year's, and uh... I have got a lot of stuff to show you guys here, as you can see, some very cool stuff, some random things, some different green lights, a couple of flea market hauls, some stuff from the flea market, and a couple of random Christmas stuff. I have got a lot of things to show you guys. Like I said, um... I won't, this year, I don't think there's going to be as many haul videos, I because I just got a fishing rod for Christmas, and I want to start taking up fishing as a hobby, but if you guys are wondering where I've gone, I just want you to know I haven't forgotten about you guys, um, so, like I said, if you unsubscribe because of, you know, not enough haul videos, I'm sorry about that, but I need to kind of reduce my money, because a lot of things are on the back burner right now due to that. And I need to start saving for other things. So there's that. And uh, I'm starting to kind of run out, run low on storage space. I need to start kind of reducing my collecting. Because my space has kind of suffered because of my channel. A lot of things have taken a back seat. So I definitely need to kind of iron my priorities out. And collecting is kind of not going to be one of them right now. So... I apologize for that, but I need to kind of liberate myself from the channel because I've been collecting so much. And for you guys, I'm sorry that has to kind of go away. But I'll be doing a lot more reviews. Um, and this video may have to be a two-parter um, just because there is so much stuff on this video. I had to expand my table. It was already expanded, but I probably needed the space to show everything. So first off, I'm going to get to some main lines. I'm going to quit yakking here. Uh, first off is the new Batman vs. Superman. These are all D-Case. I know you guys have probably already seen D-Case on a lot of channels, so I'm just going to hurry up and get on with this. But the D-Case, if my camera will ever focus, D-Case Batmobile. And then there is the back. There's your information. And like I said, there's the car. A few of you guys haven't seen it yet. But there you go, the D case, Batman vs. Superman. I definitely want to see the movie when it comes out. So there's the Batmobile. And here is the Tesla Roadster. Very cool. Got the headlight tampos going on. These are just plastic uh, separate piece headlights. And then there's your back with the taillight tampos. Pretty decent graphics. I don't mind the graphics they put on there. It's a pretty cool piece. And then there's no info on the back. But there you go. Alright, so two uh, Chevys right here. First off is the 63 Chevy 2. I really like this stance it's kind of got in the back here. There's nice graphics on it and everything. New for 2016. But here's your info if you want to read. There you go. Alright, next up here is the Custom 72 Love Light Utility Vehicle. There's a front end. There's a sunroof. The nice stacks on the hood. Nice big old tires in the back. Pretty nice piece. There's your info if you want to read that. Alright, the next two cars up are two of my DK's favorites. Everybody usually shows these together on pages. The Lamley group had a picture of these. Everyone's been after them. If you don't have them yet, I highly recommend picking them up. Magnus Walker Porsche 356 Outlaw. Very cool. But there's the back. There's the hood. I don't know what that red thing is on the hood right there. The little plastic piece sticking out. If anyone knows what it is, tell me. But there you go. And here's the back of the car if you want to read that. Alright, next up here is the Nissan 
Fair Lady Z from the Need for Speed video game. That's another thing I want to get as a video game system, so that's why a lot of the things that I want to do collecting wise are going to be put on hold for right now. So I need to start saving for other things right now, like I said. Nice blue paint job. Uh, there's the car, got nice sponsor logos on it and everything. It's a really nice piece. I absolutely love this. Well, there's the back. Info if you want to read. Alright. Read fast, read fast. <laughs> Two of my uh, favorite fantasy castings out of this case. I usually don't collect fantasy a whole lot. I do want to get the high roller. Uh, this is probably the most fantasy castings I've collected out of one case. But these are kind of based on real cars, so I guess they really don't count, but I think these are pretty cool. The Cruise Bruiser. And there's the interior. If you can see in the back there. And there is the rest of the interior. A nice blown motor with the big old stack sticking out. Pretty nice piece. And it's low in the back because it says it's got an anchor back there. I don't know if you can see it in there or not. But here's the info if you want to read that. Pretty cool piece. And next up here is the side ripper. Pretty nice. Clear windshield. It's a really nice piece. I usually, like I said, this is pretty different for Hot Wheels. It's like a motorcycle sidecar combo, but it's actually a car kind of type deal. I think it's pretty neat. It's different. I, uh... I had to get this when I saw it. I probably won't collect a whole lot, just the red one, because I like red, but this one did catch my eye. Two riders right there. It's pretty neat. I used to watch motorcycle sidecar racing, so kind of my uh, kind of the thing I like, motorsports and everything. It was pretty neat. That's pretty cool. So, all right, on to, now that we've done all the main lines, on to some Christmas stuff. This first one up here is the Wing Storm. Uh, these are some haulers. My mom and her fiance Rick got in Pennsylvania. I thought these were pretty neat. They were on a trip up there. They decided to get me these. So, pretty cool. Uh, first is the Wing Storm. I wouldn't exactly call this my favorite. This one's pretty cool. I think it's alright. Um, it is neat, but um, I'm just not a big fan of green wheels. But I would still hang on to this one. I think it's cool. But, um, yeah, pretty cool piece. And here's the rest on the back you can collect as well. But there you go, and it can detach. It shows you all the... I don't know if it can detach or not. Yeah, it's, it is detachable. There we go. So that's pretty cool. Some haulers. All right, next up here, I pretty much got all of them except for one of them, and I really... I don't know what the other one is, but here is the Driving Wild. This one has the Nitro Door Slammer. I think that one's a cool casting, actually, because it looks like it could be an actual car. I do like that fantasy casting, actually. I just don't have any in the single packs, but it's a pretty cool piece. Yeah, so there you go. That one's neat. All right, the next up here is the Double Demon. This one's pretty badass. I like the uh, double engines in there. Kind of reminds me of the Bowers Beast set a little bit. Pretty nice looking. Quarter mile coupe. So there you go. So it's a pretty cool set. I like that one. Alright, the next one up here. Steel Power with the Drag Tour. I think that one's pretty nice. I don't know if these flaps fold down. They probably do, yeah. Yeah, these actually fold down. So it's kind of like a hauler. These are these are awesome. There you go. There's that one. Next up here is probably my favorite because I just like the bone shaker. And the, the set's pretty neat. The flat black it says Hot Rod Shop right here. On the trailer, there is the cab. I think this one's an awesome set, actually. I don't know if these doors actually open. I think it just folds down, and it looks like... Yeah, this actually folds down. It's not 
double doors in the back. That one's a pretty sweet set though. I like that one a lot. Next up here is the Highway Blast with the Hot Wheels Prototype 24. This one's not bad. It's alright. I like the red, white, and blue kind of color scheme. Kind of Americana looking. Without being super tacky. I actually like this one a lot. Uh, it's alright. I'm not... I'm not super big on fancy castings. The HW24 is a pretty neat one. Um, and it's actually cool looking. Reminds me of Stunt Track Driver a lot. That's kind of why I like this set. That car does remind me a little bit of Stunt Track Driver. Alright, so that's it for those. Now on to some, a couple more uh, kind of mainline-ish cars, but they're kind of a special series. Um, the James Bond cars. First off is the Spy Who Loved Me. I do already have this in the main line. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. But you guys know it. You've seen it on my channel. I really don't know about this one. I would probably just open it. I don't know if I'd keep the package or not. Because I'm not really... I already have this one, so I don't know what I'll do with it. But the one I was interested in in this set is not this one, but... It was this one. Rick actually got me these, which was pretty cool. Pretty nice uh, thought there to give me these. I do like this one actually a lot. This is the Goldfinger 64 Continental Lincoln. Nice black. This is the car that got crushed by an odd job in Goldfinger, if you guys aren't familiar with the movie itself. But... It got a very short amount of screen time. Pretty cool that they made a car out of this, considering it really wasn't one of the stars of the James Bond movie. Pretty uncommon to see other cars than with Bond. So it was a pretty neat piece. But there you go. And um, Ricky's um, Rick's son, um, Taz, actually got me this. His name is Ricky, but it's Rick's son. Um, it's mom's boyfriend. Uh, his son got me this car. Uh, the custom Chevy Greenbrier Sports Wagon with the uh, nice motor in the back. I don't think he knew I uh, wanted this, but it was a pretty nice pick. I don't really collect a whole lot of real rider stuff, but the fact that he just randomly picked this out was pretty cool. Um, I do like this one. I don't have it at all. So to get this was a pretty nice little treat. Surfboards on the roof. So it's a pretty cool piece. Alright, now on to some uh, other Christmas goodies. Uh, a few more here. This is uh, some stuff I got at this place called the Blue, Sh the Little Blue Shop. First off is the Von Dutch Garage 59 Cadillac Eldorado. thought this was pretty cool. Zajata. Like I said, I don't collect a whole lot of Jada except for this and maybe the Road Rat series. I think these are pretty cool though. Nice front grill there. Pretty nice compared to a lot of the stuff they do nowadays. They didn't really, they don't really do the washes on the grill and the nice headlights anymore. They've really kind of gone down on the detailing department. So the older stuff is a lot better to me. Pretty cool though. Up here is another ra is a racing champions piece. This one is cool. The racing champions coming back with Johnny Lightning this year. So more than appropriate to show this right now. I thought this was absolutely awesome. I kind of picked these three out myself. This and the Von Dutch car and the other car I'm about to show you. This one's cool. It's a NASCAR. I don't know who it's driven by. Uh, I could not tell you. But it's cool. 50 years of NASCAR commemorative series. I think this is nice. Very well detailed. And here is the back if you want to read what information is on here. But there you go. Now the next one up here, I'm going to try and blow through the, all this stuff and the flea market stuff, is the Road Rats 53 Cadillac Series 62. These three I got at the blue shop. Oh, this one's pretty cool. I love that primered look. 
green primer. And then here's what it says in the back. This is a uh, cool. Aren't trailer queens here? Just raw, raw bare bones. Cool. When primer was the thing to have, or all you could afford. Pretty, pretty cool pieces. I like these a lot. But there you go. Pretty awesome. All right. Now the next couple of pieces I'm going to show you are flea market finds. These are uh, stuff I bought at the flea market. Um, I wound up going a few weeks ago. There are a couple more flea market pieces I will be showing from, these are from a single flea market find haul, but I'm just going to show the first couple of pieces here. It is the Hot Rod Underground. I think I wound up spending $50 in all the flea market for all this stuff, including the two pieces in the back, the one on top of the bike there, and the other one on the bottom, but I'll show those in a minute. These are mostly from the tool guys and some other people at the flea market. 40's Ford Coupe from the Hot Rod Underground series. I did wind up, I think, getting these three from the tool man. Are these four? There's four here. 1940 Ford Coupe. I got them for about two bucks a piece. There's the back. There's not really a whole lot of info, just kind of a generic car, but I think it's cool. I think I wound up spending two bucks a car on pretty much everything here. Road Rats, another Road Rats piece, the 51 Lincoln Mercury. Pretty sweet. That one's nice. Absolutely love that one. Very, very cool. Next up here, I don't know who I got it from. It may have been Mary and Jack, or it may have been the tool guy. I'm not sure, but I think I wound up spending two bucks on this one regardless. The 47 Chevy Fleet Line. Another Von Dutch Garage Jada piece. That one's pretty cool. Last one up here is the 70 Plymouth Barracuda. Barracuda! Barracuda. Absolutely love this car. Very awesome. Peer Vision. I don't know who that is, but I think this one was two bucks, I believe. That's what I paid for it. Alright, so next up here are three more pieces I got from the fleet. First off is the Porsche 350 or 530 Spider. That one's pretty nice. There's the back. If you want to read the info on that car. Alright. Next up here, JC Whitney. Thought this was neat. I think it's like a Ford F100 or something. Pretty nice. There's your info if you want to read that. Alright, so there's that one. Like I said, I think these are about two bucks a piece. Hot Wheels Racing Holden. Kind of an interesting piece right here. There's a the back. Alright, so next couple of pieces here. I know you. If you guys don't know by now, who is my favorite NASCAR driver? Answer is Dale Earnhardt. I got this uh, little uh, speedy beanie. It's like a beanie baby kind of type deal, but it's a NASCAR. I think I paid a buck for this at a NASCAR guy's stand at the flea market. If you can hear it. it Makes some noise because you can hear the beans in there. But that's pretty cool. I think I only paid about two bucks for this, so that wasn't bad. There's that one. And I got a couple of ornaments here. There's this one. And it has all the times he won events in his NASCAR racing. This is actually a tree ornament. But that one's cool. And then I got the tire. That says Dale Earnhardt number three on the inside. 
All right, guys. Well, that's part uh, one of my Christmas haul. Uh, make sure you check out uh, part number two. Stay tuned for more videos. Check out the rest of my channel. Like, rate, comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. Have a good one. Check out part two. Goodbye.